foundation so 2020 gave us a lot of foundation how we saw this as well we had seven seven because of the two creations so basically two creations were happening in 2020 it was like a seed was being sown right there if it was i am crime a queen your partner in crime so thank you for being here thank you all viewers subscribers thank you for liking sharing and you know just growing together in crime i hope you appoint me as your partner in crime meaning that you need to subscribe to my channel of course like and subscribe and do all the things that makes us us united souls let there be light and there was light because we're about to break the law of silence of course we need light to see what has been hidden in plain sight we are not only just seeing what's in plain sight, we are digging deep. And that, having said that, it's time for a tea break. Of course, while we are doing that, we are breaking the law of silence and whatever else happens. But let's invite the 14 gods that we are the embodiment of. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you would be of course one of the first to um of course delve in this oh, wonderful tea time oh, I hope you have your tea coffee fruits whatever it is but this is a time as I say where we are replenishing our soul so we are going to look at the 11th god of course but the 11th position where we are talking about the 14 gods but hey let's just concentrate on this segment of the gods which is in genesis chapter 2 where we have god the ended god which shows up in genesis chapter 2 verse 2 of course reminding us that there are two creations and of course the formed god which equals seven and i feel for the start of the um, writings of genesis they have been trying to show us that there is a numerical construct that or pattern that we should adhere to or actually you know observe and so this is what we are seeing here so just um, we have completed the um, mouth which is of course the um, ended god and we had all these lovely anchor so we are going to compile another list of things that we can anchor onto for the formed god so um yes let there be light people let there be light okay so we do of course invite the gods in what we are doing thinking and of course what we are most needing at this time because everything is for a time and a season so for the things that we are really needing for this season this time and let me reposition myself in this time <laughs> okay so we are talking about um, the formed God, F-O-R-M-E-D, which equals 34 because this is 6, 6, 9, 4, 4, this is 5, 5, and 4. Okay, so 9, 9, 18, 19, 20, 8, 29, 34. So this is 7. Now, 7, of course, if we did the numerical value for 7, which I didn't follow to show you the whole impact in with the, um, with the ended God, but everything is divinely done. So this is 20. That's why we said we had a lot of death in 2020. The word death, of course, comes into this because of the relationship of 2 and, of course, um, 4 or 13. Or four, which is foundation. So 2020 Gishon. So 2020 gave us a lot of foundation. How we saw this as well, we had seven seven because of the two creations. So basically, two creations were happening in 2020. It was like a seed was being sown right there. Even when we do the numerical value for the word 20, T W E N T Y, it 
it equals 26 and 2 plus 6 is 8. So we had 2 eighths of 16, 1 plus 6 is 7 and that's how we have the new creation. I thought I would just give you this simple thing. I hope you get it. I'm going to just repeat this little bit again because I just really feel that this is one way for us to really recognize one of the ways for us to recognize we are in this new creation. Although, of course, I have done um, my demarcation as the first day of the year of 2022. But however, this is the thing about we have uh, the double the dub like the double helix okay so um we had 2020 of course everyone knows what 2020 was about so of course the word seven equals 20 now we could also do this in another way where you could see the you know the workings of it if we did two the word two t w o equals 13 and if we did not n o t equals 13 and that is 26 2 plus 6 is 8 so that's what that's our new beginning right here so we would have another 20 repeating this another again 8 plus 8 8 plus 8 would be 16 and of course 1 plus 1 plus 6 is 7 this is how we have that one which is 16 and one plus six is seven the one creation but the one creation is actually two creations it's like your left and right it is um, your up and down the polarity is right here people okay so we are going to look at the word form because it's one of the verbatim gods and of course we have seen that the verbatim god and as we have showed you the two creations okay so the formed god which equals seven also, there is another God that equals seven is the God, the soul God, which is like a soul, but also, you know, your see with sight. So we could see, perhaps this is why our, we've got two eyes, you know, the soul um, in between, or, you know, like, um, almost reminds me like the nose, um, you could say here, like a seven. So this is the soul. Um, between the two eyes okay let's okay so you you see what I mean here okay so that's the the gods have actually done quite a lot to help us see um, their mark or their logos within us and more we pay attention to ourselves more we understand this okay so what do we know about the formed God? You know, uh, what do we want to know? I think what we see here, and it is said, and God formed the man out of the dust. So this is where we first see in Genesis chapter 2, which is indicating again yet um, two creations and verse 7. So it actually comes in verse 7 in Genesis, G Genesis 2 verse 7. Just like a lot happened in Genesis chapter 1, 27 as well. Okay, so here we see, um, I'll ju we'll just have some fun with this and have the form to go here. So we can have some fun. It's the way of reprogramming our minds, a way of igniting the essence of the gods within us so we can begin to acknowledge them. So first thing I see is me. Of course, I also see um, and I also see form, which is form, or four, we have four as well, or we have form here as well, and there's um, M-A-D, well, um, or we see Ed, a lot of people are called Ed, so perhaps we could stick Ed here as well. <laughs> head for head okay but um that is just a way of showing what we can do and of course we see this um the there, there is a lot of the, it's dynamic to form is dynamic so the hair already tells us that there is a lot we can do a lot of shifting can happen because we have that seven to sever to cut to shape to slice, to do whatever it is that we do.
what do we need to know about form because of course we are talking about the five main gods which I perhaps did not emphasize enough um, the five main gods that help us do our masters in the earth the five main gods are the ended God, the formed God, the caused God, the breathed God, and the planted God. This is what happened in Genesis of chapter 2, we'll see. But those five gods, of course, they work, you could see that they actually were present in the first set of gods, the nine gods, which is from created God to bless God. So it's as if there had been a contract, you could say, from the onset of creation creation and to say okay when you know we get to this stage of affairs you take over or you do the finishing or you do whatever it is it's no wonder when we see that in chapter one where everything was blessed and God gave everything but the seed was done in blessing of course and the seed was done in the command to replenish multiply be fruitful subdue and have dominion so all these were implying there must be stages in creation where you are going to need to subdue where you are going to need to have dominion and we can see the in reality or in whatever we call reality is that that is exactly what is being played out in the business world in the corporate in the whatever organization or however you want to see it i really see that everything that's happening in our world today is is like a template of what is written in genesis of chapter one and two it's like yeah i give you this i bless you i've created you and do all this but it's like the, the small print was not really clear to say okay i've given you everything and but of course when i say go multiply there's a command multiply replenish subdue and um, be fruitful and have dominion when i give you these there you have a job to understand how to do those things to do those things of course is to take on my characteristics is to take on my um, attribute of life. This is why life had to be breathed into man to become that living soul. So everything has been there from the onset. It's like it's the, the stage was set, if you like. And we have taken on the same kind of characteristics and patterns. And to say that man have um, moved away very far from God is just all God but it's the um, aspect of God which God would like us to actually um, uh, magnify magnify the good which is um, Eve saw that the fruit was good magnify that which is um, fruitful which which can be multiplied and of course but to be to give joy because that is the story we get about Christ coming and says, I have come that you may have joy and have it more abundant. Something to that effect. So this is what it is. Okay. So, um, so we have seen formed in that way. And, and to have some anchors for the word form, how can you use form? Every time that we even speak words, let us remember they do take on shape, they do take on a form, they do take on some kind of template. And so it's very important that we um, ignite our senses to be conscious about what we are saying, what we are doing. You know, it doesn't hurt to just speak in our minds um, how am I doing here? You know, um, is this um, what I'm meant to be doing right now? Or are my words being, um, you know, fruitful? Or are they being, all words will be fruitful, but are they going in the direction that I would like them to? Are they going to be beneficial for myself, the world, and all that I represent in this lifetime? So just keep asking um, the question. And of course, the answers do show up through intuition and synchronicity, of course, but you need to know numerology. 
<laughs> okay all right so we have the form to god and we says we're going to give you some anchors now one of the things that I did a lot with number seven, especially to find out around 2020, again, we are speaking, there was the thing about Biden and Trump as well. They're both equal seven and they really represents the two serpents. So again, we are saying God formed the man and then the, the garden. So all these are um, things for us to anchor on. So, seven is so powerful that, of course, we see its chromosome, C-R-O, chromosome, chromosome, and ground, G-R-O-U-N-D, and mother, now, mother of all living, and that is, and also heart, H E. A R T or Earth, let's put Earth here, E A R T H, because the heart is the, our heart, you could say, is really the heartbeat of the Earth as well. Um, so let's just get some words here. We have the Soul God, of course, S A W, let's have the Soul God here. And um, present, to be present. P R E S E N T. When you hear this a lot in the um, conscious um, communities, you know, in personal development, to be present, to be present, it's like that seven. Well, seven is where you are just again like God, just resting in whatever is. You know, your eyes rest on something, and it's just you know you are. That's that restful state, um, and so. Let's put Trump and Biden, T-R-U-M-P, okay, and we had um, Biden, let's put them there, okay, so we have the this two hair um, representing the two serpents, the serpents are your caduceus, they are served as medicine, so here as the 14 gods, we have them as our medicine in the sense of helping us curtail our life, our journey, and knowing where to do, to go, what to do, and so on. Just helping us be, to pay attention. So again, we say present, and of course, serpent, S-E-R-P-E-N-T. We see that they're the same letters and very closely related in spelling in the form that they are. So of course, these all are seven. And I thought, um, yeah, we could just use this as having, knowing, for instance, so much comes from the ground. This is why it is so important that having said that, it's time for a tea break. Gods are saying that's enough. <laughs> okay. okay, we don't have to actually, you know, anchor on any of these here. Um you know but anchor on the gods within you it's okay to understand mother is nurturing well, all the things we've learned about mother which equals seven of course we have made the correlation with the heart your heartbeat paying attention to the heartbeat and of course the earth knowing that if you're breathing right you are actually more in sync with the earth you're synchronizing with the vibrations of the earth. That's why it is important to get grounded by putting your feet on the ground, on the bare ground, your bare feet on the ground. You know, that's how to do it. And of course, just be still and you can speak to the earth through your mind verbally. You can do it verbally as well. And of course, connect with the, with the ground. And that's how you can be present of course, um, the earth itself, the ground, is going to assure you of its safety and protect you. So, um, we can see that there is a lot here to anchor on. And I hope you have found something in this. We are going to keep this one um, a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, we've broken the law of silence. We have... Um, ignited the formed God from within us and of course um, stay ignited. <laughs>